Happy Hanumatsuri, everyone. Hanumatsuri. Just like uh, Richard uh, mentioned, it is uh, nice to see a full house in the church. <laughs> but uh, this is what we expect when I come to uh, Sacramento Betsuri. Uh, I go to all different temples, you know, on uh, this kind of uh, special uh, services. But uh, now I see some shrinking temple and some growing temples. And uh, thank you, uh, Reverend Bob, for inviting me. Uh, he has been my friend uh, from the d very first day I came here to Berkeley at IBS. Uh, uh, that was uh, during the uh, summer program for youth. We had uh, kids from all over the United States participating in the summer program at IBS. And uh, so, uh, uh, very strict uh, summer program for all the youth, you know, high school kids. And uh, they all learn how to chant uh, uh, Shoshinge in the morning and uh, Amidakyo in the, after, in the evening and so on. And I first came, I don't know how to chant anything in Japanese melody because uh, our tone is mostly monotone, a little bit like that, but never like, uh, um, you know, some Japanese uh, melodious chanting. And Reverend Bob is the first one how to, uh, taught me how to teach uh, um, Shoshinge Wasan. Wasan is very difficult when you first learn it. After you learn it, it's very easy. So, uh, he was my first teacher in the United States in Japanese tradition. <laughs> And we also had some good, uh, good friends, uh, Reverend Russell Hamada, I don't know if you know, who passed away, and then Reverend Jay was, uh, Shinseki was there. And after that, you know, all the ministers were my friends uh, ever since. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to speak to the kids first, and then I talk to you later. Uh, <laughs> uh, to the kids, I am going to say something about um, Shakyamuni Buddha's uh, little son. We call him the, the first ever link of the Amida's golden, golden chain. When Buddha was a uh, young prince married to Siddhartha, he had a little baby and he named that baby Rahula. The day he was born, Shakyamuni Buddha, the Siddhartha at the time, wanted to learn something more. He was thinking about this long time, and learn something more and come back and teach the people. But he thought, if I get uh, attached to my little baby Rahula, I would not be able to go to see all the great teachers and learn about life and come back and teach. So if I go tonight, the day he was born, if I go tonight, I can learn and come back. If I stay here, I will get attached to the child and I will never go to study. So uh, Siddhartha left the palace, you know, Prince Siddhartha. And seven days, seven years later, he came back as the enlightened being, not just Siddhartha, the supreme being of the whole universe, he is coming back to his uh, city, Kimbulwatpura, you know, the city of Kimbulwat. And then the grandfather was still there, took the um, little seven years old Rahula and showed, you know that, that monk who is walking with thousands of monk, monks? He's your father. Go ask for the inheritance. <laughs> so the little boy goes uh, to the Buddha who was walking with so many monks. And, you know, he was in the first in the line. So Buddha recognized the boy and he asked for this inheritance. Then Buddha gave his finger and he held his hand and he, he was taken to the temple with the monks and asked uh, the junior monks to ordain him. And uh, now he's shaven head and wearing a robe, seven years old, the youngest ever monk in the history, seven years old Rahula. And uh, he was very smart because he has been training himself in many lives in the past to be the 
son of the one who is going to be enlightened, that is the Siddhartha son. So anyway, so this boy was ordained, but the grandfather lost the child. You know, when I became a monk, when I was 10 years old, my parents lost me 100%. They cannot call me son, they cannot call me part of their family, nothing. I cannot use their name and they don't, you know, family name, no. I only use a Buddhist name. So the, the grandfather was very hurt because he completely lost the little baby, only thing that he had after his son left. So uh, he requested the Buddha never to ordain anyone, any child, without the permission of their parents ever again. Now they have a rule for monks like us, never to ordain any child without the complete permission of the father and the mother and the family members. So this little child was so nice. He was the nicest ever at the time. One reason was that he was the youngest enlightened one in the history of Buddhism. Youngest enlightened one. Seven years old he became enlightened. Becoming enlightened means, you know, Amida, ultimate wisdom and ultimate compassion. We have little wisdom. We all have little wisdom. We have little compassion. But the little Rahula has the ultimate wisdom and ultimate compassion just like any enlightened being. So, uh, when you have wisdom, you're always making good decisions in your life. When you have compassion, you always do and say and think things that never hurt anybody's feelings. And always do something to uplift the other person's feelings and quality of life. That is what you call being a Buddhist. You know, we are being Buddhist, right? Our effort as Buddhists, we are all practical people. Our effort as Buddhists is to do our best not to hurt anybody's feelings in any way. It's very difficult. We all know it is difficult because we are all self-centered people. Because we are self-centered people, it is very difficult not to hurt the feelings of others because you want to always get you away all the time. So therefore it is hard. But we try. We practice and practice. Buddhism is always something that we practice, right? We never say Buddhism we believe. Buddhism is something that we practice. So we try hard and all the children uh, when you say, I am a link of Amida's golden chain, I am a person who is trying my best to be nice to others. I am trying my best to be smart, meaning not street smart, but, none, but very wise. We call it wisdom, huh? wise. So I am trying to be wise, I am trying to be nice. That's what. Amida's golden chain, part of Amida's gold, golden chain. Where do you start? Start from your mom. Start from your dad. Start from your sister. Start from your brother. Start from your teacher in the class and the classmates. So that is what we do as Buddhists. When you come to the temple, when you go to the Sunday school, that is what you learn. Main thing that you learn, how to be nice, how to be smart. What is, what is a smart means? If you make decisions in your life that uh, are never going to hurt you at some point in your life. Today, I'm going to smoke this cigarette or not? No, throw it away. That's a good decision because it's not going to bring you bad health. It is not going to bring you bad reputation in the school. It is not going to hurt the people around you. So therefore, that's a good decision. The decisions, we always make decisions in our life. So when you make decisions, you always uh, make decisions that never hurt you and never hurt the person next to you. That's what the good decision is, right? So all the children uh, today, 
uh, Buddha's birthday, uh, we are reminding ourselves again that we are Buddhist. When you come to the temple, when you come to the service, when you go to Sunday school, we constantly remind ourselves that we are Buddhist. That means we are committed to be nicer and wiser every day. And that is the uh, simple message for the children. Remember the story of Rahula? Rahula was always happy when somebody gave them advice. But today, our children sometimes are not very happy when parents give advice or some other person give advice. But the best thing that Rahula had was first thing in the morning he wake up and say, may I have so many good advice from many good people uh, in this temple, in my, my area. So that is, he never get upset when somebody give him advice or when somebody tell him uh, what is the right thing to do, what is the wrong thing to do. So most important thing for the children is never to get upset when the, even the young people, this is very important, you know, young people are the people who are mostly uh, get disturbed when parents tell you what to do and parents, you know, what is not to do. But it is always good because they have a lot of experience, life experience, and uh, when you uh, get good advice, that is wonderful, and uh, that always will, 99% uh, of the time, is going to protect you because uh, the parents' advice or the seniors' advice or the teachers' advice are coming with a lot of experience. They have uh, gone through life and they have a lot of knowledge. So uh, always uh, appreciate all the advice that is coming to you from your friends and family and teachers and good friends. Remember? Okay. This is the message for Sunday school kids, so now you have to go to, go to classes and get ready for the... No, get ready for the show, huh? Okay. So, uh, can we put together... Put your palms together for a short time? This is the blessing for the children, no? For you to grow nicely and uh, healthy and be very successful. Bhavatu sabba mangalam rakkantu sabba devata Sab buddha nu bhavena sada sotti bhavantu te bhavatu sab mangalang rakkantu sab devata sab dhamma nu bhavena sada sotti bhavantu te bhavatu sab mangalang rakkantu sab devata sab sangha nu bhavena sada sotti bhavantu te uh, may all the children be happy and well, and may all of them be nice children and wise children. Thank you. Thank you.